You are watching the English news of Bing Phuc Radio Television Station and Newspaper. I'm Quỳnh Như with the latest news for today. Evaluating leadership credibility to administrative procedure outcomes. Bing Phuc to launch 2024 for the poor fund campaign. Prime Minister visits President Ho Chi Minh rally start in Kunming. Tien Yen promotes green agriculture to boost competition. The performance of administrative procedures and provision of online public services now stand as a key metric in assessing the credibility of leaders in their terms. This criterion was set by the Bing Phu Provincial People's Committee chairperson in official document 4550 issued on November 4. In alignment with the spirit of one goal, two pillars, three breakthroughs, four no's and five strengthenings. The provincial chairperson has directed heads of departments, agencies and local authorities, including district, town and city leaders, to actively engage and exemplify accountability and integrity. They are tasked with efficiently leading and executing government and site duties on schedule and with high quality, while probably addressing any persisting limitations. Efforts will focus on developing and refining frameworks, mechanisms and policies, ensuring thorough review and timely amendment of any inconsistencies within legal regulations. Leaders are urged to simplify and strictly monitor emerging administrative procedures and business regulations, eliminate any preferential mechanisms and foster transparency. A robust target has been set to reduce and streamline 50% of internal administrative procedures and associated compliance costs. Key initiatives also include digitalizing administrative procedures, records and outcomes, establishing and operationalizing sector-specific databases, and enhancing data connectivity, sharing and reuse. As of late 2023, Bingfu Province still has 1,121 households living in poverty and 2,648 near poor households, with 717 of these families in need of housing support. To address this ongoing need, Bingfu plans to launch this 2024 Provincial for the Poor Fund campaign on November 15, encouraging support from organizations and individuals within and beyond the province. During the campaign's launch ceremony, Bing Phu will also recognize outstanding organizations and individuals for their contributions to social welfare, humanitarian and charitable efforts from 2022 to 2024. At a recent planning meeting organized by the Standing Committee of the Provincial for the Poor Fund, members discussed key issues, including registration for building solidarity houses and social welfare activities, program preparations and recommendations for exemplary contributors. Feedback was also gathered on spending guidelines and support levels from the fund. From 2019 to 2024, the Provincial for the Poor Fund has mobilized nearly 334 billion Vietnam dong, supporting the construction and repair of 5,071 solidarity houses, valued at close to 313 billion Vietnam dong for low income and near poor families. These efforts have contributed significantly to social welfare and economic development in the province. Annual budget allocations will support the Farmers' Union in directly engaging in provincial projects, programs and social economic development initiatives, particularly those focused on national targets and sustainable poverty reduction. This approach, outlined in Bing Phu's plan 3-3, aims to strengthen the union's role and effectiveness in the new phase. The plan prioritizes improving vocational training quality for farmers and rural workers, while expanding services, consultancy and support to aid in their production and business efforts. It encourages farmers and rural workers to pursue vocational training, develop skills aligned with successful farming models, and assess career counseling, job support and market connectivity. Key initiatives include showcasing local products and specialties at fairs, conferences and exhibitions, both within and outside the province, offering legal advice and assistance to union members, and organizing an annual fruit and agricultural products fair. Furthermore, the plan motivates farmers to actively participate in national target programs, patriotic movements and various campaigns. 
It encourages farmers to uphold community and family values and foster a spirit of learning to create a culture of responsible production, consumption and behavior. It also aims to promote civilized lifestyles and village customs, preserving the nation's rich traditional culture heritage. Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính is in Yunnan, China to attend the A Greater Mekong Sub-Region Summit and hold bilateral activities in the country. On October 5th, Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính and his entourage offered flowers in tribute to President Ho Chi Minh at a historical relic site dedicated to the late Vietnamese leader in Kunming City, Yunnan province. The relic site was where Nguyen I Quoc, who later became President Ho Chi Minh, lived and worked from February to October 1940. A lot of artifacts, photos and documents related to President Ho Chi Minh during his stay in the city are on display at the relic site. Writing in the guest book, Prime Minister Chin affirmed that the relic site exemplifies the tradition of solidarity and close ties between the revolutionary movements of the two parties and the two countries. The Vietnamese government sincerely thanks the party organization authority and people of Yunnan province for preserving the site, Chin stated, affirming that this is always a red address to educate people, especially young people, on the traditional relations between Vietnam and China. On the same day, Prime Minister Pham Minh Chin attended the Vietnam Culture and Tourism Festival at the Yunnan Theater in Kunming City, Yunnan province, as part of his working visit to China. The Prime Minister visited the exhibition, where 40 photos about Vietnam's heritage, culture and tourism are on display. The government leader and the Vietnamese delegation then enjoyed a special art program performed by Vietnamese and Chinese artists. Prime Minister Chin presented flowers to the artists, praising their quality performances. He said the performance had demonstrated the spirit of solidarity and friendship between the two countries and peoples, contributing to further promoting the friendly neighborly relations between the two countries. We have more news coming up next. Let's take a look. The two U in a one product, featuring effective security measures to ensure user safety, has received a warm reception from domestic businesses. It is produced with the collaboration between U.S. and Vietnamese innovators, reflecting Vietnam's increasingly advanced capabilities in the technology sector. Through the Latimer project, the Maryland state government will push for the initiative to be linked with partners from universities and the community education system in the state. Efforts in the technology sector will generate practical innovations, bringing prosperity to both Vietnam and the U.S. in the near future. Amid the global focus on sustainable development and climate change mitigation, the Mekong Delta province of Tinh Yang has made significant strides in promoting green agriculture. This initiative aims to protect the environment, enhance product quality, and boost economic value, thereby strengthening competitiveness both domestically and internationally. Mi Phong Cooperative in Mither City, Tian Zhang Province boasts more than 60 hectares of green-skinned pomelos, including 30 hectares receiving Viet Gap certification for green production. Notably, these fruits meet standards for exports to the Republic of Korea, yielding 35 tons per hectare. The key difference from traditional farming lies in the green production process, which incorporates biological pest control measures. In recent years, the local agriculture sector has boosted green farming practices by adopting smart farming techniques, utilizing organic fertilizers, reducing chemical and pesticide use, employing biological pest control, and applying technology for processing and reusing byproducts and waste. The province has also invested in technology to improve product quality. As a result, many local vegetable producers have built strong brands that are present in major distribution networks and exported to multiple countries. To date, Viet Gap certified production has been implemented at over 180 facilities across the province, spanning more than 2,450 hectares of crops, nearly 400 hectares of aquaculture, and approximately 970,000 head of livestock. And that's it for this edition of BVTV News. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.